Hi guys, this video will be short, but for sure exciting, because we are going to talk about the batteries. Uh, and I hope this is going to be a completely new era in batteries. As you know uh, from my previous videos, from my previous uh, flying videos, I was flying a lot on uh, very famous and very strong Samsung 40T Leon batteries. Uh, I was using the silver ones because the wrapping was broken, so I covered them with uh, with a shrink, like transparent shrink wrap. But they were very trustworthy and very strong Leons, the uh, the Samsung 40T, uh, and a lot of you guys bought it and uh, are flying on it, and uh, you love it, of course, as I do. Uh, and I was loading them, let's say, occasionally up to 100 amps, but they were getting hot. But still we were flying and I was making hundreds of flights on them and they were surviving. And last year, I heard about the new battery. Beginning of last year, I, had a, I heard about new battery uh, also from Samsung, the Samsung 50S. This one, the 40T is 4000 mAh capacity, but the 50S uh, came out with 5000 mAh capacity, even more, 5,150, and they were slightly stronger, delivering more amps than 40T, and uh, uh, of course more capacity, so the flight time was longer, the weight was very similar, 68 or 70 grams each, so it's very nice, uh, but they had one drawback, which is quite important, they were getting hot. So I was making uh, vent holes in my planes to keep them cool, but I love them anyway. And I thought, okay, we are already, you know, almost there. And, uh, and I couldn't believe that there would be anything else, anything better. But then, and now, <laughs> this is it. I read on some pages of, of some testers that the brand Molycell just came up with a new prototype, with a new battery, which is just mind-blowing, which is much stronger. And... I, of course, read all those tests. I was investigating and literally and truly these batteries looked much better. But I was not convinced until I got my hands on them. So when I, when I saw the first batch in the shop in Netherlands that came and they were on stock, I bought almost all the stock immediately to try it. Maybe not all, but I, I got a lot of them. It was uh, September. I think, or October, I don't remember. And I started testing them. And we are talking about the new, brand new Molycell uh, P45B. Molycell P45B, the, the exact name will be in the, under, in, in the description under the video, so you can check it out. And these batteries are exactly the same size like the previous ones. But the capacity is 4,500, so you could actually predict that they will be somewhere in between in power and capacity of, uh, capacity of those two. But what is shocking me the most, they perform completely different. And this video will be to show you the performance of this battery and it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's not only the power that they deliver is much stronger, but also they stay really cool during flight. Uh, and I think this battery has a true potential of really threatening the existence of LiPos on the RC market. Because, of course, as you all, I flew a lot of LiPos. I throw um, I thrown away a lot of LiPos to the trash. Because, you know, when you push them too hard, they puff. And, of course, they lose capacity, they lose power. And pretty, pretty quick, they, they become not that great. So, I can just tell you, before we make a test with the EDF that I prepared, I can just tell you that I'm already, after more than 100 flights on those batteries, not only they perform really well, and I didn't notice any decrease in capacity or power, so it's unbelievable, but also, and this is happy, it's like very positive for me too, the manufacturer declares 500 cycles on these batteries, while only 100 cycles by Samsung on these batteries. And you remember that the Samsung batteries I was abusing quite hard and they survived. So if these batteries are five times stronger, 
in lifespan, this is a very good news. And actually it is because I flew already a lot of those on those batteries and they really deliver. Super nice. So uh, I want to show you how much a cell like this can do. And I specially prepared for this occasion an EDF it was lying in my on my shelf the uh, JP Hobby Rotor 105mm aluminium rotor. Very nice. Uh, I designed and, uh, and made this shroud. I really enjoy making shrouds to create a nice sound with great efficiency. And a motor, a very strong uh, six pole motor inside, a strong ESC and a battery. So this is the old one, but I, I will show you why it's old. And this is already a pack that I use more than 100 flights. So I'm showing you the performance of not a new battery, but heavily used, heavily used battery. This is 8S in my brackets of uh, Molycell P50, P45B. And uh, we're gonna test it. And I have a, a, first, a first sky sensor, amp sensor that will measure uh, current and watts and the uh, voltage drop on this EDF. And my radio will all tell us the details, the, the data, and it will be quite surprising. I promise you that. Welcome to OpenTX. So, uh, I have to cheat this ESC because this is the uh, ZTW6S ESC, which is by software not allowing me to use 8S. So I use a slightly depleted uh, 8S down to 32.5.5 volts, which is just slightly lower uh, than 8S. And it thinks that this is, this is okay. And uh, this way I can connect then the fully charged battery and it will not notice. So now the test comes. It's exciting because it's a lot of power because we're gonna generate huge amount of power and I will hold this EDF in my hand. I don't have a stand to, to hold it, so I will hold it in my hand because I usually test all my EDFs inside the plane because the conditions inside the plane are completely different than conditions on the mm, test bench because the plane has a lot of obstacles in the, in the intake tunnel and the, and the thrust tube. And this way the good performing EDF is really performing inside the plane because a good EDF is also like a pump, like a suction pump and uh, it has different characteristics. So on the, on the bench, it might work differently. Okay, so connecting. I'm connecting first the depleted battery, the ESC. Zero volts, zero volts. You see, the ESC thinks that this is okay. And then I connect fully charged battery and I remove the depleted battery, but the, the ESC still thinks that everything is okay because it was only software, software limited. Okay, I have to hold it super hard, super strong because we're gonna pump some air. Okay, let's go. I'm giving full power now. Okay, nice. Maybe I give it one more time. So guys, I'm going to read you the data from this test. It's exciting. The maximum amperes drawn during this test was 166.2 amps. Five, more than five kilowatts. And the voltage drop was 22.3. We will just calculate it divided by eight. So the voltage drop was 2.3. 78, 2.78 volt. And the data sheet of these batteries it tells that uh, you cannot drop the voltage below 2.5 volts. So we still had a margin of 0.28 volt. So we were over the margin. So I believe we could load these batteries even harder. But what it means, so 2.8 volts uh, voltage drop with 166 amps more than five kilowatts. So guys, what it means that this new battery, this single cell just gave me 166 amps. This is a lot. And of course you can tell me that, okay, this is on the bench and the battery wouldn't survive it in the flight. 
So I can tell you it does because I made the setup on my uh, small Avanti with the 8S battery that was uh, during flight, I think 158 amps. And I flew the whole flight and it was nice. It was of course warm, but it was not hot. It was warm. Of course, I was not pushing 160 amps all the time, but of course, take off few, few fast passes. But this is amazing. Such a small cell giving 100, almost 170 amps. And if you would uh, connect a higher KV motor to it, it would deliver 200 amps for sure. It's unbelievable. And uh, of course, I don't recommend to do it for every flight because flights would be short and you wouldn't enjoy it. But uh, I fly on those batteries now with the 80 to 100 amp draw at takeoff. And this gives me a very nice, and of course, fast passes, slow passes, it gives me very nice five to seven minutes flight, which is nice. And what is the most important? 6S, the battery, 6S, four and a half thousand, because this is the capacity of this Leon battery, would weigh 450 grams. This is already with cables, with brackets, with everything. 450 grams, this is nothing. The cells only will weigh less than 420 grams. And one very important difference between the, the Leon cells and the LiPo cells is that, that when the LiPo gets really hot, so where, when you load it with amps, you know, flying hard, it will get hot. And when it gets hot, it puffs a little bit and there is nothing to hold it, not, you know, like obstructing it to not to puff. So it will puff, it will, it will lose capacity and it will lose performance no matter what you do, because this is just the, the construction matter. You know, the, this is just flat sheets stacked up one on the other and nothing is actually preventing it from puffing. But with this construction, you have a steel tube that is holding the sheets of Leon metal inside. And when it's getting hot, it cannot puff because the, the, the metal tube, the steel tube is holding it together. So even though it's warm, it will not lose its capacity and it will last for a very long time. And uh, with the manufacturer sheet, they say that it cannot exceed 95 degrees Celsius. And I think it's almost impossible to do it with those cells because they run really cold, really cool, even with high amps. So guys, uh, if you can get hands on those batteries, I know that they sell it already somewhere in USA. I know that they sell it in Encon in Netherlands. Actually, this is where I got them from. It will be under the video description. I don't know the name of the shop in US, but you have to find it yourself. I can now easily, I would do this video much earlier, but I was not sure if these batteries are as good as they were promising, because I know that this, I know this battery already for months, but you know, I couldn't recommend it to you if it would be just another battery, because it's really pain to change all your batteries again. But this battery, this, the Molycell P45B, they didn't pay me to say that. <laughs> is really worth changing your old batteries because this battery is really performing. And one important thing also, when you have a battery and when you really fly hard on it, very often it doesn't deliver the full capacity. So when this one is 5,100, but when you fly hard on it, it delivers four or even less on 3.9 uh, million per hour, thousand million per hours. But this battery really delivers under heavy load, delivers this four and a half thousand. So it's very nice. Super. So guys, new adventure. I uh, strongly recommend to get it. You will love it. It's a durable, it's a cool running battery. And what's the most important, I think it's already in the ballpark of very strong LiPo batteries because the internal resistance of these ones is around nine milliohms when they're cold and around six to seven milliohms when they are warm. So when you're flying, of course, they're warm and six milliohms. This is already a ballpark of a solid LiPo battery. I'm talking about real milliohms, the real resistance, which means this battery, battery is truly able to deliver power. So it's light and strong and durable. 500 cycles. This is a dream. Okay. So it was a 
kind of short, maybe semi-short long video, but it was worth it. The battery is kind of cool. The motor is much warmer than the battery. So you see it's, uh, there was a lot of power going through it. Five kilowatts in my hand, but I didn't fly away. All right, that's enough talking. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time on the flying field.